What's up everybody, my name is Kasper Nørgaard and today we'll take a look at one of Shun's most discussed lights, the Shun Molus X100. We all know Shun by their gimbals and not too long ago I reviewed their tube light stick and since then Shun released some very interesting and innovative and small CUB lights. The Shun Molus G60, a 60 watt light, and the one we're looking at today in this video, the 100 watt Molus X100. The discussions was about how powerful these small lights were in these very small form factors. And in fact, the X100 is about the same size as an iPhone, but a little thicker. And it still blasts 100 watt and has a bicolor option from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. In this video, I'm being lit by the light from Cobol, the CL220 at 15%. The X100 can be powered through DC wall power or USB-C. And normally when you need a battery solution for a CUB light, you will need to add a V-mount battery, which can be very big. This is a small 99 watt battery from CG Cine that can power a CUB light below 100 watts. And check out the size of this battery next to the X100. In one of the bundles you can purchase the X100 together with a special designed battery that connects to the side of the light and also functions as a handle. Check out the size of this battery powered setup which can last up to 30 minutes on 100% brightness or example 1 hour on 50%. The body itself is very robust and has a small LCD display, an input for DC power, an input for USB-C, some quarter inch threads, a very big fan to cool down the light, and two dials on the side that controls the brightness and the color temperature of the light. The dials also works as buttons and by pressing once you can change the settings by fixed values and jump even faster, example from 0% to 50% to 100% brightness, and the same for the color temperature. If you hold down the CCT dial for a few seconds, you can choose a standard or wall powered solution. And I'm not quite sure how this will affect the light yet. For now, the light hasn't changed when I change this setting. And when holding down the brightness dial, you can go into a, an effect mode, the music effect, that is the only effect in this light. And this effect flashes the light to the sound of your voice or the ambience around you. The fan is very big, <laughs> you can see it here, but it's also very quiet and it's not something that has been annoying to me during use. At the front around the LED chip, there is a small bones mount which leads to the accessories. It is possible to order the light with different packages or also different accessories. And included with this kit called the Comber is the X100, the battery grip, DC wall power, a reflector disc with mini bones mount, a neck strap, mini to standard bones mount adapter and a high quality pattern carrying case. The reflector disc has a mini bones mount which fits together with the X100 and if you want a bigger and a standard softbox attached, you will need to use the bones mount adapter. It is made from plastic and it works okay but a thing that is much better in quality is really the carrying case. And I am really glad that they included a nice bag or a carrying case both for the transport and for storing the products. And I think this case is not only good because it's small, but it also has a very great design. It holds everything that it's included except for the bones mount adapter, which for me is the most um, important accessory. And I really wish they made space for that one in the back. There are a couple of other things I wish that Shun had designed in a little different way. For example, we have the release knob on the light itself that is used to remove reflectors and the bones mount adapter. It is very small, it's very thin and it's very fragile. And I actually feel that this will break over time if I'm not being careful. 
Another thing is the angle adjustment of the light. This has some locking pattern inside, which limits you to a specific angle. And it really doesn't feel that strong when I'm playing around with it. To protect the connection for the battery, there is a small rubber door on the light that has to be removed before adding the battery grip. And when this has been removed once, I am 100% sure that I will never add this one again or it will be lost on a shoot because it's loose. And I really wish that uh, Shuen just made a sliding door or something similar to that instead. I would say that this light is pretty great and it's perfect on the go. And if you have a small studio, it's really, really good. I really enjoy that it's battery powered and it, it, it is included which I'm using to unbox or uh, use on a smaller shoot uh, all the time. I love that I'm free of all of those cables lying around so I don't stumble around that. And now it's my turn to hear from you. What are your thoughts about this light and have you tried it yourself? Please comment down below. And finally, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the future.